I came here in a device. It's a seated device. It's a vehicle. Like a car? Does it look like a spaceship or car? Maybe that's analogous, yeah. Okay. What if you could control the timeline you live in? Imagine you could see the past, present, and future like you're watching a movie and choose to look at any moment in time. Is this possible? If so, it would mean we can access dimensions beyond those we live in. In today's video, we will uncover the truth of space-time dimensions and discover what it would be like to access all the way to the 10th dimension. Have you ever felt ghosts trying to communicate with you from another world? Or some spirit trying to meddle you in your affairs as if you could feel something around you? What if this isn't in your head, but someone is trying to reach you from the beyond? To answer what this beyond may be, we need to first talk about the place where we exist, the three dimensions. Now that seems like a fairly simple concept to understand. After all, many of us spent years of our childhood struggling with remembering 3D shapes. But in a fundamental sense, the meaning of dimension is anything in space that can move freely. So imagine a dot. It can't move left, right, up, or down. So that's the zero dimension. Then when you extend a line, it can move in one direction and has a length. When I extend the line further to form, say, a square, it now has a width as well. And when I extend it upwards, it can move up and down and it has a height, so it exists in three dimensions. And because we can move freely in all these directions, we live in the third dimension. But then, is this all there is, or are there more dimensions out there? Before we dive into this scientific mystery, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content. Now back to our big question. Could there be more dimensions? And if there are, why can't we see them? First, discovering the truth behind the various dimensions brings us to the string theory. Now this isn't something about string cheese, so control your taste buds. It is more about physics and space. According to the string theory, multiple one-dimension strings propagate through space and time and interact. What's interesting is that these strings vibrate in 10 different dimensions, giving rise to different particles and forces in our universe. The existence of 10 dimensions is also a requirement for all string theory calculations, so in a way, these dimensions could explain the world. But for most of you, it must feel the opposite. Everything is unexplained now, so let's take a step back and see where this idea comes from. This is all just a way to describe time and space and how the two exist together. In fact, Albert Einstein was the founder of this space-time continuum when he published his theory of relativity. According to him, time is the fourth dimension in this space-time continuum. And what's more interesting is that the nature of this fourth dimension is different than the other three we are familiar with. Why? Because it doesn't exist in space, but in time. Remember that dot we started with which is now a 3D shape? If you extend it further and make space for this shape, it becomes something mathematical that we call a tesseract cube. Don't worry, this doesn't mean you have to learn the maths behind shapes all over again. At least, not yet. But maybe the children of the future will have to. But doesn't this tesseract cube sound familiar? If you're a fan of the movie Interstellar, you know where this is going. To the scene that brought tears to our eyes. It's when Cooper enters the black hole and falls into the tesseract cube, from which he can see every moment of his daughter's bedroom and finds that clip of her. Wipe off your tears because some of the logic behind that scene is flawed. Cooper appears to control the timeline while he is in the fourth dimension, but that's not possible. You need to go a level up to be able to do that. So then how do these dimensions work? What goes on in them? We have seen how the fourth dimension was theorized by Albert Einstein and how it helps align the laws of physics nicely, but not perfectly. This means they need more room than just four dimensions. The fourth dimension is no longer a mystery. Instead of time flowing linearly, we can choose to see any moment in the timeline. You can forward, pause, or rewind the moments in time, just like you can when watching a movie. But is that all? Definitely not. In the fifth dimension, the gamma level, it would be possible to see all the moments in time simultaneously, even before they play out. You can see them in multiple frames, and if that wasn't enough, you can choose to zoom into one and feel every emotion there, dissect every experience. It's like you can draw a graph of your entire earnings in time. That should give you a sense of whether or not you should go shopping this weekend. But this still doesn't allow you to change the course of your life, but simply modify your choices according to what you see. The place where you can see unlimited possibilities and different pathways arising from your choices is the sixth dimension, Delta. It's like you will become Doctor Strange in Infinity War, seeing unlimited outcomes of the battle with Thanos. And just like you was able to choose the path that led to the least number of Avengers being killed, you would be able to choose the best path for yourself. But in all these dimensions, the origin is the same. 
what if they weren't? This brings us to the Epsilon, the seventh dimension. Here, the initial conditions are different. To put it simply, imagine you are finding a solution to the wrinkles on your face. Up till the 6D, you would be able to choose a path beyond where you are, but what if you were born to different parents? This can happen in the 7D, where there is some change in the initial conditions. So now, if you are not happy with your hair or your eye color, get ready to discover if things would change if you had different parents. And now in the 8th dimension, you would be able to see all of the initial conditions representing different realities simultaneously. Now that's a huge choice of what you want to be. If you are indecisive, you might be in trouble because from infinitely many options, you might never be able to choose. But up till now, we have been assuming one thing, the laws of physics are constant. What if they could change? Welcome to the world of Sigma, the ninth dimension. At this level, we are changing the rulebook of our hyperspace, such as gravity becoming a repelling force or effect leading to cause. It's a possibility that the universal laws have changed, something that the movie Tenet talks about. Imagine that when you were born, you were very old and you age as you grow smaller. The babies would be the boss of this world. And now we have reached the last dimension, the 10D Omega. This is where the word impossible has no meaning because anything you can ever even perceive is a possibility. Boxes of realities each with its universal laws exist. There is no limit to what can exist in this dimension. Does this mean we can have multiple dimensions of time? And if there are so many levels of dimensions, why can't we access them? As marvelous as the 10th dimension sounds, it can be equally absurd, because it simply means there are multiple timelines, perhaps even multiple universes, each with its own set of rules and infinite possibilities of what could exist. So now imagine you are standing in space and you can see these 10 dimensions. The mind simply boggles thinking we could have so much power over time, and here you can't decide what to have for dinner. But why can't we access these dimensions yet? After all, the laws of physics and mathematics seem to fit perfectly in them. According to John William Dune, each of these dimensions represents a different level of consciousness, and so maybe we can't access them because our perception of the world is limited. Our brain cannot comprehend beyond 3D, at least not yet. Let's go back to Cooper from Interstellar. Now from Cooper's perspective, we can see how he sees his daughter, but things are different on the daughter's side. She cannot see Cooper, but instead she feels something around her, like someone is near her. Her consciousness does not allow her to see beyond that. So then what if someone is trying to communicate with us from another dimension as well? When you feel someone is watching you while you are alone, or just a vibe, a feeling of someone with you, what if it's not a ghost trying to scare you? Instead, it's someone trying to communicate with you from another dimension. With endless possibilities in the cosmos, there is no end to what could be but why do these infinite boxes of space and time up to the 10th dimension, carrying different pathways to reality, exist in the universe? Who placed them there? There could be a grand designer out there. So does this mean only someone beyond us can access the 10th dimension? We are on the path to discovering the answers to these questions. Theories on 10 dimensions are still developing because physicists like Edward Witten propose an 11th dimension. Nevertheless, we are on the quest to understand higher levels of perceptions and reach beyond our existence.